Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to what is today a good old-fashioned guide for how you can go about getting yourself the Sovereign of Storms class. You will need to be level 80 and above in order to go about grabbing this one, and you start from the Join Queen Iona map. There is a challenge fight you are going to have to do, however it is a solo one, and I have made a battle guide for that if you're getting stuck. First of all, you need 10 Lothian's Lightning. So if you're a free player, you can do this daily. And if you're a member, you can do it repeatable from this quest. Or you could also spend 2,000 Adventure Coins and do it repeatable from this one. You need to go into the AC shop at the Queen Iona map and buy the companion pet that's within there. Anyway, once you go along and defeat Queen Iona, you'll be able to turn in whichever one of the quests you are doing. And once you've done that, you'll grab yourself one of the Lothian's Lightning. Like I say, you will need to do that 10 times, so there is a bit of rinsing and repeating. Next up, still at Join the Queen Iona, is the Storm King Storm Bolt. You will need to have rank 10 Thunderforge to be able to buy this item. If you are missing Thunderforge, you can go along to join Falgard. And if you find Hindar, there is a daily quest you're able to do for a thousand rep. Although that's probably not the best way to go about doing it. I mean, if you're free players, I had a little scour. I found these quests over here at Death Pits. They could maybe be useful for you. I'm sure someone down below in the comments may know a godly way to go about farming for Thunderforge, but if you remember, you do have the luxury of going over to Storm Temple and doing this repeatable quest for defeating Ultra Lion Fang, which is probably the way I'm going to be doing it. Anyway, Join at Cold Thunder is our next map, and this is the Queen Iona's Royal Attire. You need 60 Skies Lightning, which you can get from farming this quest right here. As you can see, I've put this one first, because this is a bit of a pain in the bum monster to defeat, and it'll be much more useful to go along and do when there is a group of people also farming for this. So make sure you go tip this one off first, or at least I personally will. You need to make sure using that last will when the Q text appears when doing that fight, otherwise you will be dying quite a lot. But you may also defeat the fight really quickly if there's loads of you there, so you won't need it anyway. The next item we're looking at is Sky Warden of the East. You will also need to merge the Sky Warrior armor as one of the requirements, and you also need some Liquid Gold Solution. And if you'd like to get yourself Liquid Gold Solution, it is from the generic farming quest in the area. Bog standard way of doing that, Gorter's Ravens and defeating the boss. The salvaged armaments you will need quite a few of, at least I think that's what they were called. Anyway, you come along here, I usually just grab them from these monsters, and as you can see, there's your Salvage Sky armaments. They are actually required for all of these Wardens, so you may as well stack them up all at once. Okay, the next one is Sky Warden of the West, and this time around it is the Sky Executor armor you're also going to have to grab for more of those Salvage Sky armaments that we spoke of just a moment ago. But you'll also need some solid gold alloys, and would you believe they are from the generic farming quest in the area. A fair bit of rinsing and repeating in order to grab all the items that you need, but that's just the way generic farming goes nowadays. Okay, so our last map is going to be over at Leotara Hill, and once you get here, it is for the Sky Warden of the South. Pretty much exactly the same process as you've done before, except this time you want Golden Catalysts, which are from this farming quest right here. And once you've done that, you'll be able to head back to join a Queen Iona to turn in for your brand new class, and hopefully you can enjoy using it. Anyway, folks, as always, thank you very much for watching. Please do leave the video a like, and of course, subscribe, and I'll see you all again for another one incredibly soon. So until then, have a lovely day.